Hey, how's it going guys? Jack and Matt here with the Toaster Bros. And today we're gonna to be checking out this UCW $400 pre-built gaming PC. We love UCW, they make some really cool stuff, but you know what's really cool? Today's video sponsor, GlassesUSA.com, and these glasses that we're wearing. Let's talk about them real quick, shall we? So with Glasses USA, they actually have this really cool app integrated into their website where you can literally figure out your prescription based on your old pair of glasses. I was having a lot of issues going to the actual eyeglass company and they were giving me the wrong prescription. And then next thing I know, I find out about this app and I was literally able to order my prescription straight from Glasses USA using the app. Glasses USA is the most easy and convenient way to go online and get glasses with your prescription, or if you're someone like me who doesn't really need a prescription, you can get blue light filtering glasses, which have helped me a lot when reducing headaches when working at a computer all day long, which is what I do basically. So it's been a good resource for that, and they are pretty stylish. Another thing that's cool is they have standard free shipping with no minimum purchase required, and you can literally customize everything on these glasses. You can get custom tinted lenses, you can get polarized lenses, you can get obviously different strengths of lenses if you have a prescription, so it's honestly just a really cool tool. So if you're interested in checking out these glasses, check the link in the description down below. And if for some reason the glasses aren't exactly what you want, you have a 14 day return window for a store credit or a replacement from glassesusa.com. Special thanks again to Glasses USA for sponsoring today's video. Now let's talk about this computer, shall we? So we're gonna go ahead and unbox this thing. And honestly, I think we rubbed off on UCW a little bit because well, normally they would just send us an Optiplex and we would throw a graphics card in it and you know sell it that way. But hey, they're actually doing that themselves now. So that's pretty cool. This one's basically game ready, ready to go, 400 bucks. Um, they don't worry about aesthetics or anything. You know, They just worry about getting you a good OEM system that actually is upgraded and can game without having to do it yourself. So we actually don't even really know the exact specifics of this $400 one because they have a few configurations. So it's a fun guessing game. All right, so sorry about the awkward camera angle here, but we have uh, some business cards as always, hand signed, you know, which is cool because we're fanboys. And we have the RX 5500 box right here. So that is the graphics card that's actually in this, which is uh, pretty cool. It's a good, good um, you know, entry level graphics card. And this one's actually an HP, it's not an Optiplex. So we totally lied to you guys. So this specific system is an HP Compact Pro 6300. So it says i5 inside, which we honestly expected. I mean, that's how basically all of their, I guess you could say flagship builds end up being, are like second to third to fourth gen i5s typically. Um, and it looks like based on the motherboard, I'm gonna assume that this is a second gen, but we're gonna have to um, open it up, which actually, so normally these are second gen i5s. I don't think this one is because I don't see a 24 pin, which leads me to believe that this is something after second gen, like maybe third or fourth gen. So we'll have to get this um, interesting, uh, passively cooled CPU cooler off and uh, see what we got. But I do see four sticks of Corsair RAM, which is pretty awesome. I see an SSD that's properly installed up here, a hard drive, it probably even has a, it has a disk drive for all of you old-fashioned wow. folks out there. And we also even have a Wi-Fi card, which I don't think has the antennas. We might, might need to get those separately, but hey, it might still work without it. So we suggest going Ethernet anyways, because, well, this does have Ethernet, and that's going to get the fastest performance. But before we go any further, we're going to go ahead and take the CPU cooler off. Uh, go ahead and apply some thermal paste while we're in there, but we're going to figure out what CPU this is. So this specific UCW build features the 550. We have an i5-3470. This is a third gen, you know, ready motherboard. It has a 320 watt power supply, which actually isn't too bad. If there's any extra Molex or SATA cables and you ever wanted to upgrade to the graphics card, you probably could get away with using adapters and maybe get like a 570, 580. Um, we do have 120 gig SSD. We have a one terabyte hard drive. We have uh, 16 gigs of Corsair DDR3 1600 megahertz RAM, which is actually pretty respectable that it's, you know, four sticks and everything. So overall this build for being 400 bucks, yes, it's not super flashy and pretty, but hey, you could add some RGB actually and have it kind of shine through the front here if you wanted to, but you're not really chasing aesthetics with a build like this. You want a nice, almost sleeper build in a sense that's been just completely upgraded and overhauled. It has, you know, new components in it, just giving it new life basically. And this PC is going to perform better than most of the $400 pre that are probably gonna have a Ryzen 3200G or worse really, because well, $400 pre-built, 
you're not gonna get very good performance if you're going for gaming. All right, guys, now that we've taken a look at this PC, let's do what we do best and benchmark it and then just uh, wrap the video up real quick. And then if you wanna buy this thing, links in the description down below, of course. All right, ladies and gentlemen, now that we have this PC all up and running, let's talk about some benchmarks real quick. Now, again, I do apologize. We got the price mixed up at the beginning of this video because, well, we weren't totally sure which model we were going to get sent, but this model actually comes in at around $300, depending on shipping and other taxes. So do keep that in mind when purchasing this PC. Check the link in the description down below if you want to check it out. But at $300, even $400, it's a really awesome pre-built PC, and we decided to test it in a couple games that make the most sense for it. First up, Valorant on high settings getting well over 60 FPS, and that's exactly what you're looking for. Valorant is a pretty easy game to run, so it's really not that big of a surprise that you're getting that sort of frame rate, and the ARX 550 does seem to be the bottleneck, so that does mean you could potentially upgrade this with a better GPU in the future, but do keep in mind some of the power supply requirements for doing so. The reason this pre-built is such a great value is because there really isn't anything else like it on the market. You occasionally can find deals like this on eBay, but most of the time they are price hiked way higher than these are so the amount of price performance you're actually getting out of this pc is close to if you just did it yourself so this is a great opportunity if you're somebody who wants to get a pre-built option that is not super hard to put together and is really cheap you definitely should jump on this deal and check the links down below because this pc is also great for fortnite on pro settings is it going to be great for 100 plus fps on fortnite absolutely not it is definitely an entry level pc but if you're able to get 60 fps on pro settings with a computer like this great for somebody who's transitioning into PC and they wanted to well have a work computer for things like at home school or any sort of basic at home work and also be able to game on the side this thing is great being able to have a 120 gig SSD installed and also 16 gigs of RAM it makes it for a pretty nice entry level productivity machine along with a gaming PC and the last game we tested was Rainbow Six Siege and we ran this on medium settings and right here is where we start to see where the RX 550 is a little bit of a bottleneck as you see in many of our other videos you can actually buy computers from UCW that don't come with the graphics card and you can upgrade it yourself with maybe a new power supply an SSD and a graphics card if you are more comfortable doing something like that yourself you most certainly can do that and put a better GPU in here if you want but the ARX 550 for its use case again for esports titles is a pretty awesome GPU for the money so overall very impressed with this pre-built for the money once again apologize for the uh, price mistake at the beginning of the video this PC normally hovers around $300 most of the time now $400 but yeah that just makes it a great value so how about we go ahead and bring Jackson back in here to wrap this video up real quick all right so as you could tell for 400 bucks this is probably one of the better pre-builds you're going to get now obviously looks wise you're not going to get the most amazing look but hey if you're not into aesthetics and everything this is honestly a great build for you of course, if you use the links in the description down below, we'll include a discount code. He normally gives us a discount code for Tosi Bros viewers to use when they purchase the PC. So it might be a little bit cheaper for you. But overall, we're actually very impressed with this computer. Yes, the 550 is a lower end card, but there are a ton of different options that he does have on his website. And if you feel like adventuring out and doing this yourself, which is not super hard, you could always follow some of our other guides where we got some of the other pre-built, bought our own graphics cards, upgraded it, and did that route. So there's a lot of things you can do. But overall, UCW, is a great resource and we highly suggest you check it out. Big thanks to Glasses USA once again for sponsoring today's video and making it possible and also just making some really awesome glasses for us to enjoy and wear and things. <laughs> and as always, don't forget to check out our other two YouTube channels and also our twitch.tv slash toastybros. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we will see you guys in the next one.